Hi everyone. I just put up the video about um, exposing the deeds of darkness that I have, that I believe the Lord has shown me. And I want to do a follow-up about the woman that I told you was a prophetess that had the vision uh, to confirm my two visions that I was in a white dress helping people in bombed out areas. I mean, it was total devastation all around me. I had that vision twice and she met me and within 15 minutes, the Lord gave her the same vision, only he expanded it. And he told her that uh, I would have a city of refuge. I asked the Lord for confirmation and he gave me a dream that very night and showed me this uh, compound uh, it was fully enclosed, enclosed, and there were buildings on it. And people were working on fixing the buildings so that they could live in them. Now that is where my training, when the Lord had me working for Habitat for Humanity for eight years, I held all different positions. I was the senior site supervisor, I was a director of construction, and I was also an executive director. So he has prepared me for this role, and um, anyway, this woman, who I know loves the Lord very much, the Lord gave me a dream about her, and he showed me that she was very impressed with these big name, multi-millionaire evangelists. I was very saddened by it, and um, then I need to share this story with you because it will confirm that the Lord was truly speaking to me at the time. I mean, He speaks to me now, but it was a difficult time because He was exposing people that I loved, not that they don't love the Lord Jesus Christ and, and our Father, but deception had set in, they were not aware of it, and it is one of my biggest fears. That is why I am the way I am. People who have watched my videos over the years know that I doubt myself, and it's because of people that I trusted fell into deception, and I know they love the Lord, and I believe the Lord will restore them. Anyway, this woman... Um, was driving home one night, she's elderly, she was driving home one night and she ran a red light and she hit a car and killed a man. It was very traumatic. It changed her life. I was dancing for the Lord one night and he, oh, I'm sorry, I was riding my bike one day and the Holy Spirit told me he wanted to think me to think on the accident that she had. Now, at the time, he had been giving me warnings, uh, and, and as I shared about Todd Bentley, I tried to warn her, and I gave her warnings that the Lord was saying that the, there were false shepherds in the body, and some of them were people that she admired. She did not listen to me. So, uh, because I was, you know, a new uh, person hearing from the Lord, she, knew, she felt that her years of ministry and her, um, her walk had proved, you know, that she had, had uh, insight. Anyway, the Lord told me to think about her accident. So I began to think about it, and what he said to me was, her running the red light was a sign that she was not heeding the warnings that I was giving her through the Holy Spirit. He said that her killing this man was showing, was a sign that because of her disobedience and her lack of discernment and listening, 
people were dying spiritually. I was in shock. I, I didn't know what to say. I didn't know what to say. You have to understand, I was new at being taught these things, and there were so many people that I looked up to, and it was hard for me to really uh, accept, but it was so clear. But anyway, it gets worse. I was dancing for the Lord one day, not shortly afterwards, and he wanted me to send her an email and tell her what he had told me about her accident. Can you imagine this? She had just killed a man. She had to go to trial for it. And here I had to tell her that it was a warning from God and that it was because she had disobeyed his warnings. It was very hard. It was very hard. I told him two times that I didn't want to do it. And on the third time, I went ahead and I wrote the letter. She would not have anything to do with me after that. Although uh, about two years ago, she did contact me again and our relationship has been restored. The Lord was gracious in that she was not um, sent to prison. I don't know all the details, but I know that it was from the Lord. I just, uh, right now I feel the Holy Spirit, His sadness, because of the deception in the body of Christ. I just believe it's so rampant and we know that very few are going to make it. So I just wanted to share that to let you know that it's serious, that we must seek the Lord with all our hearts, with pure hearts. What the Lord has taught me is that we cannot love anything more than Him. We cannot love prestige. We cannot love money. Uh, we cannot follow people. We cannot desire a place of exalting ourselves. The Bible says that the greatest of his people will be the servants of all. So please continue to guard your hearts, guard your minds, and be found with a pure heart because only the pure in heart will see God. I love you guys, and I hope to see you soon. Bye.